Egypt. Hi, I get Monica, I get Franorga, and you see Bella Egypt. Hey there, I'm Michelle, I'm from London, and you are watching Bella Egypt. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Bella Egypt. Um, it is Ramadan time, so happy Ramadan to everybody out there watching. As you can hear now, it is actually nearing the end of the breakfast period where everybody's finished up all the food before they head down to the beautiful beach, they head to the pool, they head to the desert, they head to the excursion, they go to Cairo, whatever it is they plan for their holiday. All right, coming up in the next half hour, we're in the kitchen with Chef Ahmed. We're gonna make a nice, light appetizer, beautiful Italian mozzarella cheese with tomato and a special sauce. I'll let him tell you about it. And then after that, out and about, a couple of guys from Cairo came out here. One had been parasailing twice, one had been parasailing four times, and they allowed us on the boat. They even took uh, a selfie, not just the phone, but you know, on the attachment, the old rod there, and they went up, down, and we interviewed them both before and after the parasail. I will give you our address and email, and that's all coming up in the next half hour. But for now, off to the kitchen with Chef Ahmed. This is Bella Egypt. Welcome one more time to Bella Cuisine here on uh, Now TV International. Now this is about the third week of Ramadan, so so I guess most people ended up visiting their family and friends, and we're heading towards the end. We're together again with our chef, Executive Chef Ahmed, who who will be with us for uh, about the next ten weeks. Uh, chef, I wanted a little bit of advice here. Yes. Um, Suhoor, uh, when, when I was in Cairo, it was very nice going out with people at night, you know, uh, to 3, 4 in the morning. Um, for Suhoor, what are the foods you should eat and what are the foods you should not eat to make Ramadan easier for you? First, what should you eat? Yeah, should you eat this yogurt? Yogurt? White cheese, a little bit, uh, cucumber, ah. salad. Ah, uh, but another people who like uh, eat beans for the night and this and okay yes and what are the things you should not eat no they should not eat something like a sauce the red sauce something like this uh, what you make something not good for him uh, for, the, for the tummy because yes for tummy uh, no water no nothing how about the things uh, and as well as spicy onions spicy, yes onion no you should yes. onion no yes no onion no onion when you leave your bread should smell nice yes it's a very hot day here yes. it's a beautiful day you see the people going this is uh, some of the ships are starting to go by which means it's heading around four o'clock because they all yes. have to be back at the port by five o'clock that's the rule yes okay chef what are we cooking yes. today yes. Tomato mozzarella. Tomato, tomato mozzarella. And, and we've made tomato mozzarella before, but never like this. First yes. time. Yes. Okay, well the ingredients are simple. This simple is nothing. This is mozzarella and tomato. Pesto sauce. Ah, but there was, so the one interesting thing yes. is, yes. Um, is the pesto sauce, because many times yes. when they have tomato mozzarella, they have the mozzarella, the tomato, and a piece of basil on yes, top. Yes, yes. But you decided to put pesto. pesto Tell us yes. the ingredients of a pesto sauce. This is easy, easy thing. Just pesto, 
This is best too. Yes. Yes, you basil. Basil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Nuts. And nuts. Nuts. Ah. Little bit. Any nuts. Any nuts. Yes. Just in blender. Yes. It's okay. This for you. You don't add mustard or no, mayonnaise no, no, no. and a uh, little bit mustard. It's a little bit of mustard yes, on yes. there as well. Ah. When I was young, I really disliked it. What's the beautiful thing about living in Sharm? Yes. In my house in Hadaba, downstairs. We have so many uh, basil trees. Basil, yes, yes. So on the way up, I buy some lettuce and I, I wash it and I mix it on the salad. So it's a, it's a, it's a is, wonderful uh, thing. Yes. Now this one here. Yes. Do you invent all the way they look, or you have different chefs, chefs to help you? Different, different chefs. Ah. Yes, this is different chef. Now before it goes on the plate. You must approve it, yes? yes. You're the big you boss. Must, you must approve it, yes. You have to approve. Yes, yes. Okay, so because tell me. Because before it's something like this in the plate. And yes. Cut uh, like this, cut like this. Uh, uh, presentation good for the plate. No, absolutely. So whoever yes. whoever makes it, they come to you, chef. Yes. You like? Yes. Uh, the imshi, no. Imshila. Make another one. Okay, so tell me uh, basically how, how you start, because it doesn't seem too difficult. It's not diff difficult. You put the mozzarella, one mozzarella, one tomato, uh, mozzarella, one tomato, uh, and after you cut, you roll it, and after you come like this. Okay, okay. Mozzarella, tomato, what, uh, you get up here. Yes. Okay, now say it's this high. Yes. How you cut it without it falling over? This is my work. Ah, it's your job. Ah, he's not giving any secrets. <laughs> eh, da. I thought we'll give away some... No, this job. is my job. You know what he does? He says, eh, Ahmed, come here. He has to hold it. And then he chops it with a saw. <laughs> Is that right? right? No, of course I'm not, not right. And then, of course, it's a beautiful display around. And then, one thing though, do not put the sauce on till it looks beautiful. Yes. Because once it's on, you can't move yes. it. Cannot move it. And how does it stay? When you come, chef. You ah, he's not giving anything. Yes. Hey, well, well, <laughs> uh, wait. After the show, I'm going to talk to him here. We need some secrets to help the people. Well, listen, it looks very beautiful. And this is also an appetizer. Yes, an appetizer. And uh, the mustard is the mustard. just yes, for, uh, decoration. Ah. for nice decoration. Ah. Well, it's very beautiful, chef. Um, we have a lot of things lined up in the next few weeks. We've got, uh, we got steaks coming up. We've got uh, a beautiful seafood pizza coming up. Many things in the next yes. few weeks. Yes. So, guys, listen, next time, uh, next time we talk to you, it will be Aid. Have a safe and happy Ramadan. Not long left, yeah? Yes. And uh, you'll be with us next week? Sure. And next week, excuse me, you will tell yes, some will secrets. Tell you, yeah, 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 he doesn't yes. want to share. What's this? <laughs> it's Aid. It's Aid. Next okay. week we'll give you an okay. Aid present. Yes, okay. Thank you, Chef. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, back to the studio. Okay. Welcome back to Bella Egypt on Now TV International. My name's Ashley, and do not forget to get a pen and paper for later on when I will give you YouTube, Facebook, email address, all the ways you can get hold of us here. And in case you're wondering where we are, actually, uh, an unusual location. Uh, we are we are uh, not in Hadaba, where we are many times, or in Nama Bay, and we're not at the airport. Somewhere in between, on that big long road they call Peace Road. You turn towards the sea and there are many hotels right there. Earlier on when Sharm was being developed, there, were no, there was nothing there. It was, a, it was a cliff. But they found ways to build hotels and, you know, uh, like a tear cake going all the way down, which makes it extremely hard for the crew to carry the camera 
from the hotel all the way down to the beach. But for you, it's no problem at all. All right, uh, one of the sports that is available here in Sharm El Sheikh is parasailing. Now, I've got to tell you something. I am here, the breakfast room is downstairs. And I look down, I actually get a little bit sick. I get a little bit of vertigo. But when you're up there, parasailing on the chute, you don't get that at all. And I discussed that with the two guys coming up in this very segment. Let's go see. When you tell your family, we are going to Egypt, what they say? Oh, yalla, go, bye, imshi. Yalla, da da da, touch. Miss, go, relax, mind, relax. Bella, Bella Egypt. What we decided to do today is do a bit of before and after and hopefully in between here some screaming. Well, I'm not sure if we're going to get the screaming, but the before. How are you doing, buddy? Fine, thank you. Very good. Uh, what's your name? Motia. Mutia, is this the first time parasailing? Actually the second time. Ah, so you know already. Yeah. And how about your friend Tarek? I believe it's the, the fourth time as well. Ah, you're professionals. So there's no screaming going on. Hopefully, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so, um, you're from Cairo. Yes. I've noticed in the last year or so, uh, a lot more of the people from Cairo uh, have been coming to Sham. Yes. Uh, any particular reason? Actually, because of the uh, after the plane crash of the the Russian plane, the uh, tourism industry has been going for a declining curve. So we, as Egyptians, we started to support our economy by visiting Sharm el Sheikh, and actually, it's a very nice place to deliver a message for the worldwide that it's very safe, very uh, interesting, a lot of activities, very nice weather along the year, lots of uh, snorkeling, diving, uh, corals, beautiful, colorful fish. Are you a diver? Uh, I did oh, snorkeling once and snorkeling a lot of uh, times. Yes. Okay, beside here, uh, native Egyptian, have you, have you uh, visited a lot of Egypt? Yes, I visited actually uh, Luxor and Aswan for their m monuments and historical uh, yeah. tourism. Also, a lot of, there is in Cairo, there is the uh, Egyptian Museum, the Citadel, so it's a historical Islamic religious uh, tourism as well. And here in uh, uh, Sharm Sheikh, I'm visiting to have uh, some sort of relaxation, snorkeling. Uh, this is, yeah, yes. It's, it's, it's been everywhere. We can put everything in here. Actually, it's funny what you're saying about uh, now the people from Egypt are supporting tourism because when you're here, I mean, I've been here 20 years. Oh. It's like you look around, it's like, 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 like there's no problems in the world. Yeah, that's true. How uh, you find it living in Egypt for 22 years? No, yeah, this is, I'm, I'm a Sharma now. I go, yes. I keep leaving. Everyone who leaves, it's, mm. a, it's a big danger if you move to Sham. <laughs> big danger. I tell you the problem. The danger is not safety. The danger is every time you leave, you want to come back. Never, yes. Every time I come here to your Sharm, I just thinking about just retire my career and spend the whole rest of my life here, be part of an animation team uh, or doing some snorkeling or diving uh, private business and just stay the rest of my life here. Because, I mean, all cities, let's be honest, it's not only Cairo. You want to get from here to here. If you're in London, Paris, New York, it takes you an hour, two hours, two hours home. Here, there's nothing more than five, ten minutes. Yeah, actually, actually yes, it's by flight from Cairo to, uh, to Sharm, it's only 45 minutes. From Sharm to Luxor for having a monument and historical museum, it's only uh, actually 45 minutes as well. So uh, traveling from different uh, cities, it just, it's not, it's not uh, an effort to do, yes. It's, yes, very short destinations. All right, buddy. Well, thanks. Listen, thanks Thank for the you. interview. And as soon as you come down, yes. 
we'll talk to you about your spiritual 10 minutes up in the sky, all right? Yes, all right. true, yes. And then we'll grab Tarek later. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate it. So how was it? It was really nice, really nice, fantastic experience. I really enjoyed it and the view from upstairs is from the top is very nice. Isn't it stunning up there? And how did, how did the old uh, uh, selfie work? Yeah, it's really, really amazing. I want to upload it now on Facebook and have a hell of likes now. I'm really sure of it. It's, a, it's amazing the technology yeah. now, isn't it? Yes, you yes. Know? Did, nice you, did you see the pyramids? No, I it wasn't. No, it no. wasn't that high. A bit far, yes, uh, a bit far. Yeah. Uh, no dolphins from up there? Oh no. No, no. But, but you got the selfie. Yeah, I got a lot of selfies to upload it on Facebook. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, how many, how many likes do you think you're gonna get? Hundreds, thousands. It's Hundreds. very nice to use the technology to deliver a message to the whole world. I got a good deal. Yes. We'll watch yours if you go on our Facebook page and like ours. Yeah, of it course, that would be really good. Yeah, deal. that's a nice deal, bargain. Oh. Yes, okay. All right, buddy, really nice Thank talking you. to you. I really appreciate Take it. Take care. Yes, it would be really nice. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. All right, next up in the air is... Dark. And you are from? Egypt, Cairo. Yeah, from Cairo, Egypt. Now this is your first time, fourth time, is that right? Uh, it is my fourth time, yes. I spoke to Mohammed. we have a surprise for you. Uh, hopefully it's not frightening. Uh, no, you are going up by your left foot. That's it, we're going to drag you up there by your left uh, foot, uh, as you've done it before. On, no, I'm going to take my selfie stick with me. You prefer the right foot? Uh, we don't mind. Left which one? Doesn't matter, does it, Mohammed? No, left or right? Uh, okay. Try to make it more <laughs> exciting. Let's do um, your friends of uh, this is your buddy. You know, you know, you know him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know him. Our best friends. Your best friends. Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you guys uh, do? If you don't mind me saying, in Cairo. I mean, uh, you work, you study, you uh, yeah, you work. are tycoons with Ferraris. Uh, no, no, not yet. Actually, okay. we're planning to do that. Uh, no, uh, we are working. I'm uh, working in travel agency, and he's working in. Oh, we can't say that name. <laughs> Cut that piece. It's okay. We'll edit that piece. Actually, it's a good company to work for, as it happens. Uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. Um, I, I asked as well, uh, did you manage to get around uh, the North Coast, Egypt, uh, other, yes, other yes, yes. sunspots of uh, Egypt? Yes. Uh, Where would you recommend to, to, to foreigners? Where, what other beaches, without saying uh, the names of hotels, would you recommend? Uh, North Coast, uh, Hergada. Uh, um, uh, do you ever get to uh, Ein Sochna? Ein Sochna, yes, yes, we yeah. have. Yes, we go there regularly. Regularly? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. When do you work? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hey, what kind of job? You, you only work one day a week, is that right? Uh, please don't show that to my manager. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> he's, he's just joking. This is for television, boss. Um, yeah, uh, I, I was, I was going to ask a question uh, earlier. I, I forgot that traditionally uh, Egyptians go to the north coast I know uh, we're, we're trying to push tourism for ourselves and for other people. You think uh, many uh, of the people from Cairo will come here during the summer? Uh, yes, they will. Uh, everything is great. They are enjoying here. Many Egyptians are coming uh, nowadays. We have seen lots of uh, Egyptians and foreigners as well. Uh, it's lovely. Yeah. And, and they have to come, right? I mean, to depend only on people from outside, it's a bit crazy. We have to depend on our own as we well. Sh we shouldn't do that, Yanni. Yeah. Uh, it's simply everyone who want to join it and enjoy summer, enjoy sea, enjoy activities, everything. Charm is a good destination, so why not? All right, we know, we, as well. we know what you like to do during the day. What do you, what do you guys do for fun at night? Uh, be, be polite. This is, this is, this is, this is government television. I <laughs> uh, can't say that out loud. So, so before he can't talk, his boss is listening. Now he can't talk, his mother's listening. All right, all right listen, once yeah. you go up and down, we'll talk to you again, all right? Perfect, okay. All right, Looking good forward. luck up there. Have a nice day. Thanks, Thank buddy. You. I have to be honest. Uh-huh. I was told, your buddy told me that you could hold your breath two minutes. <laughs> Is that true? We were going to put you under the water for two minutes. Well, I can do more than that. Uh, more? Oh. Uh, yeah, so, he, so he was lying. It's even more than two minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. How was it up there? <laughs> it was uh, fantastic. It was very nice. 
Some people probably wonder when you're up there, for those who haven't done it, it's not hot up there, is it? Because you're covered by the uh, by the old uh, parachute, right? No, no, it's, it's totally normal. It's yeah. totally normal, it's very nice. Uh, weather is good because uh, air and yeah, you know, wind was yeah. very nice. And, and actually, once you're up there, do you feel the, do you feel the height? Uh, yes, yes, you definitely. Do? Yes, yes, yes. Because when I go up, I mean, I look down. It's funny, if you're standing on a building and you're looking over, it's like, oh. Uh, but if you're up there looking down, I don't feel anything. Very strange. Well, I don't uh, get afraid of heights, uh, but uh, it's very nice. Uh, I, I do get afraid. If you're afraid of heights, it's uh, still okay, because I am afraid of heights. And uh, All right, for those, for all your family, friends, fans, for those who are a little bit worried about coming to Sham, uh -huh. take the mic. Tell them what it's like out here. I worked uh, hard enough today. <laughs> uh, you definitely have to come. It's very nice. It's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, do lots of water sports. Um, Spend lots of money. <laughs> definitely. definitely. Hopefully. And oh, 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 tell them to book through you. <laughs> because I'm travel agency. <laughs> okay, and come book through us. <laughs> have a nice day. Thank you. All right, thanks, buddy. Lovely talking to you. Have a great trip. I'm sorry I won't be here for the big uh, for the big uh, uh, concert. No problem. But you have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank have you. a nice Thank day. you very much. When you tell your family, we are going to Egypt, what they say? Oh, yalla, go, bye, imshi. Yalla, da da da, touch. Miss, go, relax, mind, relax. Out here on the Red Sea there are so many different things to do in the desert when you go diving when you go snorkeling and of course there are water sports and with me a man who knows all about water sports right Mohammed how are you not bad, Mr. Ashley. I'm fine. Thank you. Good to meet you. And thank you for taking us out on the different excursions. Uh, instead of uh, me telling them, you tell me um, on the Red Sea, what can the customers expect to find? What kind of water sport activities? We have uh, a lot of water sports activities. Uh, we can do the parasailing. We have the water skiing. We have the banana boat. And we have so far, we have many type of the water sports that we can enjoy it here we can do it in charm el sheikh okay wait a minute let's go one by one every water uh, water skiing i think everybody knows parasailing maybe some people don't know what, what actually happens there uh, most of the funny thing you can do in charm el sheikh is something take you high in the air and you can watch all the area and then you just are. drop them from the sky let them fall yeah no no no, 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 no we no, start no. it's easy we yeah. start from the boat and then we fly in the air like seven minutes uh -huh. and after that we landing on the boat it's very safe mm. and very nice yeah i've done it a few times it is very safe very nice and even if you're scared of heights once you're up there it's very different it's not like being on top of a building when i'm on a building i look down you feel you feel but, dizzy but Paris completely different yeah, okay yeah. that's that one for people who don't know many people they like to eat the banana but they don't know what it means to get on the banana. Okay. So, oh, it's different type. This one, you're not eating. You just uh, sit on the banana. Uh, and How many people uh, can it take? We, we take like six people maximum for the banana. Uh, and we go fast. If you want to um, drop in the sea, we can, we can do it. If you want just to stay on the banana for all the time, we can do it. We make control for everything. And, and you always know if someone's on the banana because you hear a lot of screaming. Yeah, yeah. some people they like to do banana and screaming because oh. they, they find like They're fun scared. No, not scared. Terrified. No, no, they, they enjoy it. They're screaming and they enjoy it. Okay, what's the last one you said about the, the sofa, the boat? The sofa, yeah. I like the sofa so much because it's, it's, it's not like the banana. And especially the, 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 the man, he, he drives the boat. 
he can make drifts and you can enjoy it as well more than the banana ah, ah. I love the sofa yes, so much I actually I've never been on the sofa but it, uh, they actually put their legs out yes yeah? yeah, you're actually yeah, sitting yeah. on something yeah, it's but fun. because it's flat it's going oh if you want it easy and you're young okay if you want excitement they can drift across just like the cars right yeah 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 right Actually, I uh, invite everyone to uh, to come to Sharm. It's very nice. It's very safe. The weather is fantastic all over the year, either in winter or summer. There's here lots of uh, water sports, lots of colorful, uh, colorful fish and corals and reefers. So it's, it's very nice. I invite everyone and encourage everyone to visit Sharm. Bella Yeah! 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 Y